Okay, now that we have those in the refrigerator, we're gonna get going on our baked beans. Baked beans are one of my specialties. Uh, we have about eight cans of anybody's baked beans that you prefer, already in, uh, now already in our dish. What we're gonna do is add about one and a half to two cups of light brown sugar. We're gonna add a good half cup, a little bit more if you like it, of some wonderful molasses. And I'm gonna make sure I get all this out of there because I really like the molasses flavor in my beans. I also have two very large onions diced really fine. Add those right in. Got about a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm going to add in. Makes a really nice combination between the sweet of the cinnamon and the dark richness of the molasses. And my little secret, celery seed. I have about two tablespoons of celery seed. So we're going to go ahead, mix this all up. Again, since this is a barbecue type thing for the 4th of July, I just went out and bought one of these little metal tins to make my life easier and clean up a lot easier. We're going to stir this all together, get it nice and blended. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees and we want it to be in there for a good hour. And since we have an hour and 20 minutes before everybody shows up, we're in good time frame, aren't we? Oh, and one more item. We need to add some ketchup. And again, I'm going to give this about a good cup worth of ketchup. It's just for great flavor. This is where you get to have fun. <laughs> Take out your frustrations of the day on the ketchup bottle. <laughs> and now we're going to have a nice, rich, sweet, tomatoey, Great set of baked beans and wait till you watch everybody eat these.